वेलकम टू प्रैक्टिकल मेडिसिन टूडे टॉपिक इज क्लबिंग वॉट इज क्लबिंग क्लबिंग इज द बल्बस एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ सॉफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टर्मिनल फैलेंजिस विथ बोथ ट्रांसफर्स एंड लॉन्जिट्यूनल कर्विंग ऑफ द नेल्स सो हियर इन साइड द क्लबिंग द नेल्स बिकम्स कर्ट एंड बोथ द ट्रांसफर्स कर्वेचर ऑफ द नेल इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एज वेल एज द लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल कर्वेचर ऑफ द नेल इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज सो हियर इट इज द नेल ट्रांसफर्स कर्वेचर and this way it is the longitudinal curvature that is due to bulbous enlargement of the soft parts of the terminal phalanges with both transverse and longitudinal curving of the nails so that is the definition of the clubbing why this clubbing happens it could be due to interstitial edema as well as the dilatation of arterioles and capillaries so this type of changes that happen in the nail it is known as clubbing now the causes of clubbing it includes the pulmonary cardiac elementary endocrine and miscellaneous all these causes of clubbing we are going to see in detail so the first one pulmonary causes how we can remember the pneumonic is b b t l e d before bronchogenic carcinoma another b for bronchiectasis tuberculosis lung abscess empyema and diffuse fibrosing alveolitis so the pulmonary causes it includes the bronchogenic carcinoma bronchiectasis tuberculosis lung abscess empyema and diffuse fibrosing alveolitis cardiac causes the pneumonic is cia cyanotic congenital heart disease infective endocarditis and atrial myxoma the cardiac causes of clubbing that includes the cyanotic congenital heart disease infective endocarditis and atrial myxoma elementary causes of the clubbing the pneumonic is hubc hub c hepatopulmonary syndrome ulcerative colitis biliary cirrhosis and crohn's disease so elementary causes of the clubbing includes the hepatopulmonary syndrome ulcerative colitis biliary cirrhosis and crohn's disease now the endocrine causes of clubbing the pneumonic is atm acromegaly thyroid acropathy and mixed edema what do you mean by thyroid acropathy when we see the thyroid nails of hyperthyroidism patients or graves disease that is known as thyroid acropathy here the endocrine causes of clubbing includes the acromegaly thyroid acropathy and the mixed edema now the miscellaneous causes of clubbing this could be of the hereditary idiopathic or in patients of gouts so all these are the causes of clubbing we covered the pulmonary causes cardiac causes elementary causes endocrine causes and the miscellaneous causes now the grades of the clubbing there are four grades of the clubbing grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 in the grade 1 there is softening of the nail bed happens only when there is softening of the nail bed then we can classify it as a grade 1 clubbing in the grade 2 clubbing there is obliteration of the angle of the nail bed when the angle of the nail bed has been obliterated then we can classify it as a grade 2 type of clubbing in the grade 3 type of clubbing swelling of the subcutaneous tissue over the base of the nail that causes the overlying skin to be tense shiny and wet along with the increase in the curvature of the nail that results in parotidic or drumstick appearance so in conditions of grade 3 type of clubbing there is swelling of the subcutaneous tissue over the base of the nail so that due to this the overlying skin becomes tense shiny and wet and all of this leads to the increase in the curvature of the nail that results in parotidic or drumstick type of appearance so that is the class 3 type of clubbing or grade 3 type of clubbing now in the grade 4 type of clubbing the swelling of the fingers in all dimensions that is associated with the hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy that causes the pain and swelling of the hand as well as the wrist so in the grade 4 type of clubbing 
the swelling of the fingers in all dimensions occur that is associated with the hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy and it causes the pain and swelling of the hand and wrist joint so that is the grade 4 type of clubbing in conditions of bronchogenic carcinoma and paraneoplastic syndromes the subperiosteal new bone formation occurs specifically in conditions of bronchogenic carcinoma and paraneoplastic syndromes the subperiosteal new bone formation takes place so there are four grades of the clubbing grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 now how the parotidic type of appearance looks like so that is the parotidic type of appearance that we specifically seen in the clubbing so this type of appearance it is known as parotidic appearance how to check clubbing as you are saying in this video when you place a finger in this position and if you find a space in between two fingers or thumb then clubbing is not present but if you are not able to find a space in between two fingers or thumb then clubbing is present what is the scamort sign here the first photograph you are seeing it is of the normal and the second photograph you are seeing it is of the patients of clubbing where the clubbing is present normally when we place right and left finger like that we are able to see the space in between these two fingers but in case of clubbing the space is not present so that is known as scamort sign when the space is not present in between two fingers then it is known as scamort sign and this scamort sign is specifically present in conditions of clubbing now what is the mechanism of clubbing exit mechanism of the clubbing is not known there are two mechanisms that has been suggested the first is based on the hypoxia and second one it is based on the ferritin levels so first one stimulus for clubbing is hypoxia this hypoxia leads to opening of deep arteriovenous fistulas due to that there is increase in the blood supply of fingers and toes that leads to the hypertrophy and due to that there will be development of the clubbing so that is the cause of the clubbing and the one suggested cause it is of the hypoxia now in the another hypothesis the another one cause that is suggested it is the depending upon the ferritin levels when there is decrease ferritin level in the venous blood it enters into the systemic circulation it causes the dilatation of the arteriovenous anastomosis as well as hypertrophy of the terminal phalanx and it causes the clubbing so there are two mechanisms that has been suggested first one hypoxia and second one ferritin level what is pseudo clubbing in hyperparathyroidism and leprosy excessive bone resorption occurs due to that there is disappearance of the terminal phalanx with the telescoping of soft tissues and due to that there will be drumstick appearance of the fingers and that looks like clubbing typically in hyperparathyroidism and leprosy conditions we saw this type of drumstick appearance of fingers and it looks like clubbing but it's not actual clubbing hence it is known as pseudo clubbing why it's not actual clubbing because there isn't curvature of the nail in clubbing typically we are seeing the transverse and longitudinal curving of the nails but here in conditions of hyperparathyroidism and leprosy we are not seeing any curvature of the nail so this type of clubbing appearance we can say it's a pseudo clubbing once we figured out clubbing which states we can advise to the patient arterial blood gas analysis chest ct scan chest x ray echocardiogram electrocardiogram ecg and pulmonary function test so all these are the test we can advise to the patients once we figured out the clubbing I hope now you are able to understand clubbing. If you like this presentation, please try to share it with your friends, group, batch and colleagues.
थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन